Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to revise an activity statement in free accounting software. So I've already done a couple videos on activity statement and this is continuing on from them. Uh, in the first video I um, lodged this uh, July activity statement. I've prepared this August one but haven't yet lodged it. So um, last video I showed you how to add um, this transaction um, so um, to the to the August activity statement so basically um, to set the scene a bit there was this let's say you did the July bass and um, I forgot to add this transaction so in the last video we added it in and put it onto the August bass so within certain limits and time frames that is allowed. Um, in this video I want to show you how to put this transaction onto a revised July bass. And I should also say the example data I've got here is um, monthly um, bass for July 2005. Um, you're probably doing quarterly uh, basses but it's the same thing. Okay, so this transaction is currently sitting on the August um, bus, which I haven't lodged yet. Um, now, we can only have the transaction on one bus, and that is a, um, a control that the system puts in place. Obviously, you don't want to put it on more than one bus. Um, so, to put this onto the revised July bus, first have to remove it from this August bus. And that's pretty simple. Um, I haven't lodged the August bus, so I'm just going to select that transaction. And down here, there's a button that says Remove Selected Transactions from Bass. So I'm going to click that, and it's removed from the bus. Um, then I go back to the activity statement list, and here is the July bus that is lodged, and we're going to revise it. Um, I'll just go into it for a second and we can see the four transactions. We've got the two sales and the two purchases and that was what was on the bus. Okay, back to the activity statement list. Now to revise a bus, you simply select the um, bus that you want to revise on the activity statement list and there's a button down here saying revise selected activity statement. That then adds a new bus so there's actually two buses for July now. Um, one of in this revision column, one of them says revision false, and that's the original bus. Um, the one that says revision true, that is the revised bus. So I'll just double click on the revised bus. Okay, and now we can see something interesting, is that we can see the transactions from the original bus are listed, uh, but they are grayed out and so this revised bass is not just going to show us the um, additional or new or plus or minus transactions um, it's going to show us the original ones plus the changes so that we can um, get the revised totals on the bass okay um, now you'll note that there is currently no um, extra transaction there yet and um, and and that's because we need to uh, run this generate process to link up that transaction now um, so down the bottom left here is the generate transactions button um, talked a bit about this uh, include unreported transactions for X additional months option and yeah, you could, when you're revising a bus, actually include transactions that were not on a bus for previous buses, uh, quarters or months, and bring them in there. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to put none. It doesn't actually matter because there are no other transactions that I've entered. Um, and then click Generate Transactions. Okay, and so we can see that the software has added this 
transaction in um, to the bus um, and uh, we can clearly see that this revision of the bus is made up of these original transactions and this new one. Um, now if we go or we look at the GST receivable we've got the $20 and the 5 GST payable we've got the $10 here. If we go to the lodge page we can see the 25 and the 10 coming through. Uh, the lodgement process is exactly the same. You review the information, you tick the declaration box, put in your password and hit lodge. I'm not going to do that just because it's uh, you've seen that before. And this is all dummy test data as well. Um, I just do want to point out though um, how useful this is to have this uh, this list of transactions where you can see the original ones and the new ones. If I go back to the other original bus, um, the original transactions are displayed but not the new one. Okay, so this is a really nice record to have of what was lodged on that bus. Um, the number of times I would take on an, a client or look at the client's book work and find out that the transactions entered into the software don't add up to the BAS. Um, when they're not, if they've not been using free accounting software, um, it's it's a really good percentage, you know, of clients, and it's often impossible to find out why the difference occurred. Perhaps if it's one transaction and if it's a large transaction, you could find it. Uh, sometimes you just have no chance to find it and you simply have to revise the BAS to the amounts that you know about. Um, so this is, um, uh, this way of doing it is actually I think way ahead of where just about any other accounting software is. In fact, I haven't seen any other accounting software that does link the transactions to the actual bus they're lodged on. Um, and I guess a little bit more <laughs> to harp on about it, you know, I occasionally get asked by people, um, they don't want to use the software to lodge the bus, they just want a bus report. Well, this is way ahead of that. It's just like, you know, um, it's just so far ahead of that, it's just like, well, they they got to see this video and understand um, how much better it is because the amount of time it can save and time of your accountant that is saved. Um, I mean, you're saving money by getting free accounting software, uh, but you're also going to save money on accounting fees because it's going to be clear for your accountant to work out what you actually put through each bus. Um, yeah. Anyway, there is still more. Um, that I want to cover in terms of how the software actually helps you make sure your bass is correct and um, and so there'll be at least one more video on this alright um, hope the video has been useful to you and thanks for watching